Nice one. Ha <laughs> ha Fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. Nice amount of money. I received the dynamo badge. With the dynamo badge, Pokemon can use Rock Smash out of battle. And it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. Hmm, you should take this too. I'm... I don't know if I'm giving Shockwave to Yang. I don't think I am. That TM34 there contains Shockwave. It's a trustworthy move that never misses. You can count on it. Here, have my number. I swell with optimism seeing a promising young trainer like you. It's weird that it turns off all of the electrics when you leave. Not talking to you. Golden. That's another gym badge. I can do a few things. So first of all, I'm going to pop back and get Nose Pass. Hello. Yes, I want to switch bikes. Thank you. Right. The reason I've switched is because I am now going to head back down to... Actually, no, I'll go the other way. Because there. Are... now that I have the Dynamo Badge, I can smash rocks with Rock Smash. So I have a few rocks that I need to smash. God, I'm smashing into everything, aren't I? That's why I don't like the Mac bike. So, Rust Earth Tunnel, not that way. This way. Hello. Yes, Mako, smash this rock. Boom. Wow, you smashed that boulder blocking the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this HM. HM4. That contains strength. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move even large boulders. Now get the fuck out of my way. Wanda! Oh, Wanda's his cousin. What? Why would the, the house... Because the house said it was Wanda's house. Why would that say that it was... Um, the cousin's house. Why would it not say that it was the cousin's parents' house? Presumably they're the ones who own the house. Now I could see you any time! That's... wonderful? Shit, I wanted a long distance, boyfriend. Uh, please, take some rest of my home, wink wink nudge nudge. Okay, go have fun, kids. And smash this rock. Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh, it's you! You're that person who not only helped... Oh. I can't remember his voice. Not even slightly. Not only helped me in Pedalburg Woods, but also got back my stolen package, and then even graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that the package arrived, too. We thought you'd stolen it. I thank you very, very much for not stealing it. Why, if I were a raincloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. A really odd thing to say. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation, this is our gift to our wonderful trainer. I'm probably never going to use that. Our new Pokeball will be available at the Pokemart in Rustboro. Please do try it out. Thank you and bye bye. I've been meaning to come back here and have a look because I think I can get some of the other specialized Pokeballs here. See, look at this. This isn't sped up. This is normal sort of max speed for the Mac bike. This is sped up. Look at that. Okay, that's enough. Just wanted to show that off a bit. Oh, good. Okay, they are selling the timer ball here. I'm going to get a few of these. I can only, can't afford that many at the moment. Uh, I will stock up on other stuff while I'm here as well. Cool. So timer balls will become more helpful later on in the game, but I may as well pick up a few now, just in case. Huh. I kind of thought he would be here, you know? Well, that's really, really awkward. Right, I had an idea. So I was just sort of travelling back, and I came across a wild Ninkaja, and it's like... Actually, while I was running away from it, I realised 
I can use it. Because you know I said about how um, Ninkada... I, 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 was, I was hoping that Ninjask would get... Um, uh, false Swipe. Turns out Ninjask doesn't, but Ninkada, if you don't evolve it, does. And False Swipe is a brilliant move to have. So, I've caught a second one, so I can teach it False Swipe and Cut and replace um, Bakuto in my team with it. And because it's female, I will name her Colleen. Colleen Learn Cut. Fantastic. I'm going to leave Bakuto here. I'll, I'll leave him in box 21. I know I named him, but still. Uh, yeah, cool. And on my travels, I will train up Colleen to have full swipe. And then he'll be... She, sorry, she'll be my uh, amazing wild Pokemon catcher. Alright, time to do the Mac Bike Challenge. I need to get through this as quickly as possible with the Hello? Hi, it's Maria. If you want to improve endurance, come see me sometime. I mean, high altitude training is, is it. Try running on a mountain top. You'll be gasping in no time. I'm getting oxygen starved. <gasps> M Maria? Maria? Nope, she's gone. Shame. Nope. Damn it. There's two crashes right there. Three, four, yeah. Screw you. <laughs> that was that was a very hostile reaction. Yeah, that that wasn't a great, <laughs> great cycle. <laughs> Just go straight in with the insults. Whoops. I mean, the truth of the matter is, I don't really need a Mac bike apart from for its practical t capabilities, given that I can, you know, speed up time. So this is why I brought the Mac bike, because it can get up there and get over that with ease. But first, a repel. I mean, it's not like I'm carrying ten of them already. And whoosh. Ooh. Oh crap! Yeah, you got to keep the speed up, like that. Anything worth looting down here? No. Ah, oh, crap. And... Crap. Crapping hell. Yes! Finally bloody made it across there. And the prize is a rare candy. So I had an idea, you see. Because uh, I'm fairly sure I can get the XP share now. So... I thought, well, if I'm going to be spending ages grinding in a cave to find a nose pass, would it not make more sense rather than, you know, have to do the whole switch out party thing with um, with Colleen, if I instead go and get the XP share and then just have one of my incredibly high level guys tank it for me? Hello, yes, it's me, you know, famous around these parts. I'm personal friends with your president, he has my phone number, he calls me up and gives me gaming tips. Hello, old man. I did, I did. Uh, can I have my money now? This is my way of thanking you, it should help you, a trainer. Yes, nice. A Pokemon holding that div- yeah, I know how it works. I know how it works. Yes. Very useful for raising weak Pokemon, like Colleen. So, Colleen... Nope. Colleen gets the XP share. Which I can only assume it wears on its head. And then Yang goes there. And actually, I am going to give Yang the Macho Brace. Because I'm not sure Yang's stats are very good. And I actually looked up the Macho Brace... And it, it's all about sort of EVs and stuff. Oh, would have to be that one, wouldn't it? Fuck it, just brute force. No. Yeah, it, it's an EV thing. And to be honest, I've never paid EVs any attention at all. But if the Macho Brace says it can make uh, 
Yang's EV is better when I don't think his stats are very good. I mean, I could be wrong, to be honest. That was sort of before he got a decent electric move. But yeah, if uh, if I can improve his stats by doing that while grinding, and he's such a fast Pokemon, it really shouldn't make a difference. Then, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yay! Nice. The name doesn't really fit, but... Uh, it'll have to do. That'll be far enough. So now I chuck a Pokeball at it. I mean, False Swipe won't be any use against like Rock or Steel types, but apart from them, it'll be golden. Nice. Especially if I hold on to him until uh, I have to get rid of him. The Compass Pokemon. Fantastic. Okay, nickname I have for this one is... Gunther. I don't know why I... The only two Gunthers I can think of are Adventure Time and Friends. So I don't know which one, if either it is. Also, it's worth remembering that I record a few episodes ahead of where the series is uploaded. So it's a good idea to sort of suggest names a little bit further ahead of where I am, not just like ones from the next area. So remember, you can always suggest names for any Pokemon I haven't caught and I'll add them to my, my ongoing database. I have like a, a big Word document with all the names that have been suggested. All right, I'll hold on to the Mac bike for now. I don't really like it at all, but I have a feeling I will need it soon. But before I move on, let's go see how uh, Wanda and her boyfriend are doing. No, not like that, you pervert. You are? Oh, right, I get it. You're the Garen who Wally was talking about. I'm Wally's cousin. Nice to meet you for the second time. I was standing right next to her when I broke the stone, so... Unobservant. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think Wally's become a lot more lively and healthy since he came here. Thanks to you, I can see my girlfriend every day. Happy? You bet I am, wink wink, nudge nudge. Alright. Finally, time to move on from Morville. Feels like I've been here for bloody ages. I'll just break both, just to be sure. Cool. Uh, who do I have? Right, I'll take that off Colleen. Because I think it does cut my XP in half. Uh, and I'll... yeah. I'll put it back on when I'm next trying to catch wild Pokemon. Hello? Hello? I'm on TV! Oh, we've just spotted a tough looking trainer here of all places. Okay, roll camera. Let's get this interview. And then she attacks me. I do actually quite like this uh, this double team. Gabby and Ty with a Magnemite and a Wisma. Oh, I love my two Premier Balls. Alright, let's smash her into the ground for the TV. Boom. Go on, demolish it. Oh, would you look at that? Your Wisma's gone forever. Until you heal it. Whatever. Oh no. Oh, oh, look at all that damage. However will I survive? I'm fairly sure that Fury Swipe, someone pointed this out, that uh, because... Rock Smash is so low power, even with the double, it's still weaker than like Fury Swipes is. But that's fine. It uh, reduces people's defense as well, so that was useful. My eyes didn't lie, I did discover an astonishing trainer. Cool, nice amount of money. Awesome, awesome, who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you give us a bit of your time for an interview? You will? Thank you. 
Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go. <laughs> Easy. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, that's... that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that this will air on TV, so make sure to look out for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Bye-bye now. Move along. Hey -oh. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? I have a feeling all my female voices sound the same. Ha! <laughs> ha One thunderbolt, thunderbolt took it out. Oh, and a Marrel. Yeah, I don't need to switch for that. Nice. Oh, you're disgustingly good. That's an odd choice of adjective. I'm thinking I should go to Mount Chimney, but the view around here is very nice too. Hello. I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon is peppy too. Not much of a challenge. My Pokemon lost its pep. It's because I took it from it. Ah, oh, fine. When I see a trainer with a lot of pep, I can't help looking. Pervert. Ah, oh, the desert. Damn it. Guess I'm gonna have to go the long way. Hmm, some grass. I bet I can find a Pokemon in here. A Nummel! I don't have a Nummel yet. Don't knock it out in one. Okay, or do. Whatever works. Hey, a Nummel! I don't have a Nummel yet. Don't knock it out in one. Thank you. And... Boom! Cool. Nice and easy. Hey, Nummel is called the Num Pokemon. Fancy that. And the winning nickname is Vulcan. Granted, not the most original, but I don't know, it's still kind of cool. Hello. Yeah, not even slightly a threat. They've gone back to like 10 plus levels below me now. Mount Chimney, for Lava Ridge Town or the Summit, please take the cable car. Hello. I said hello. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, friend. He says friend, but I don't think he means it. Right, they hit me a few times, but yeah, they didn't really stand much of a chance. A load of Geodudes. Oh, my legs have cramped up. Can you grab some badges from my backpack? No, that's my Pokenav. Oh, fine, I'll register you. How did I confuse bandages and a Pokenav? Whatever. Mount Chimney cable car, a short walk that way. It's not working. Okay. Hello. Yep, yeah, really easy. Excuse me. Hey man, is our leader really going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it, yeah, but I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went out to Fal Falabo. Falaba? Falaba. You got it, and until they come back, we're not to let anyone pass, right? Hint, hint to that guy standing behind us. We're not going to let you pass. What dicks? 